is to uh, YouTubers. Oh, here's something I wanted to talk about too that I thought was just disgusting. What? Oh, I'm gonna tell you. So apparently, right, mm -hmm. this YouTuber passed away named uh, Rentainment News, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that was uh, his name. There's another world that a lot of people confuse him with, but uh, Lefty, right? He was a rapper. Me and him then had a thousand row sessions back and forth, dude. Like, we would be cooking each other, but it was never something that was like, Serious. We never threatened each other. We never wished any ill upon each other. It would just be cracking jokes. And then we squashed the beef and eventually, uh, like he would have me on his streams. And because he thought I was like so smart or whatever, he would ask me to define mad shit as, as if I was like the co-host that would be like the human dictionary. And I'm like, I, I don't actually know everything. You said don't actually know everything, bro. I don't know. But then they, somehow I wouldn't know though. Like he would, he would say something's racist. I'm like, actually, that's prejudice, not racist. It's a difference. What's the difference? I'm like, yeah, it's this, this, and this. And we end up having like a deep ass discussion, right? Um, but the reason why I bring this all up is because he passed away recently. And I noticed like a lot of people who had a lot of ill intent that actually wished death on him are now sitting there crying on live streams and videos, like using his name for clout. Because, oh, I feel so bad. Oh, that person I wish. Would would pass away, passed away. Oh, but we was the best of friends, and it's like, like I just feel like that's that's disingenuous, right? Now with me and real, I'm not gonna say we was best friends, but we did have a, a fun time. We laughed a lot, right? Uh, I have an interview shortly before he was banned on YouTube. Where I'm telling this nigga, you gonna get banned, nigga. I'm trying to help. <laughs> like you, gonna, they gonna ban you. You wow. He's just like, yo, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm and he got banned from YouTube, right? And started streaming. And it just, I think it's nasty with the fake love is what I'm saying, right? I'm not going to say that we was the best of friends, nigga, but I shared laughs with the mother, mother effer. Know what I mean? I shared laughs. Me and him cracked jokes on each other and had a good time doing it. Like there's a plethora of clips of him trolling me, me trolling him, nigga. Him saying, yo, I don't, I don't have no beef with Beast Boy. You know, we just laughing, right? Um, but... Yeah, I was right. I told I tried to warn him, right? So like with me seeing people and when we talk behind the scenes and he would tell me all the nasty things these people did, doxed him, attack his daughter, right? Like a whole bunch of shit. You got videos out there with crazy lunatics holding a hard drive, shaking in the day. I got all his information threatening this nigga. But then now everyone is all buddy, buddy, and acting like they love this nigga. And it was like, yo, fan, this nigga used to tell me how horrible he felt and how they made him feel. But now they fake and acting like they love him. I, guys, don't let nobody do that for, to me. Please don't let nobody pretend like they like me. Like, please. If I pass away, I don't don't let no fake you YouTuber that hated me say that you, they love me and we best you, friends. You, you right there, sit down. You wasn't there. You shut the fuck up. Oh, who are you? Don't worry about it. Right. You want to act up? Because right. I, he ain't here to save you, he save you today. He right there. So. 100% just this I ain't here to save him. <laughs> My spirit's going to be like, no! <laughs> My ghost, don't do it! Don't do it! Uh, fan games have fun times with real. Yeah, yo. He was somebody, that's what I actually liked about him is he didn't take nothing to heart. This mother, when he say his name was Real Entertainment News, that shit was entertainment a hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. The first time I met him was us debating and we just going off with each other. And like he hit me up behind the scenes, like, yo, you know, it was just all for show, right? And I was like, I know. I can tell. I, I, like it was nothing that would take personal anyway, right? We'd be just cracking jokes at each other, right? So yeah, a hundred percent. I think it was funny. We had a lot of laughs with this nigga, bro. I would crack jokes, roast him. He would roast me, nigga, and we'd get on each other's streams and act crazy. Said the past few months, he just uh, wanted peace. I saw a true change in him. I did see, even beyond past few months, for the past year, he apologized and squashed his beef with everybody, or at least attempted to, right? And then he would even say, like, yo, even if you was like, nah, I ain't squashing it, he'll go, well, I tried. I tried to, you know, squash it. There wasn't nothing else I could do. And he would just leave it alone. 
right? But there was a lot of people that wished a lot of ill intent on them. But yeah, overall, what's your opinions on that? Like, why do you think it was fake that these people were doing videos like that? I swear to God, I ain't wishing this on either one of us. Somebody that would come out at my, at my, at my shit. Mm. You better show your hands. I'm talking to you. You better show. Is that what happened to you? Oh, I'm not. Yeah, you I just show your black. You think ass. I'm gonna let these? You think I'm gonna let them lie like that, nigga? No, no. You better lie. You better show your. I ain't, black nigga. Ass. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna shut that down <laughs> immediately, nigga. Immediately. That yeah. that was not even a doubt in my mind, and I expect the same from you in a non-violent way, if you if you can, <laughs> if it's possible. <laughs> He said, I've known that man for years. Glad we made amends a month or so before exactly. he passed. That's what's up. So he can eat all the cat here, pot roast he want now in heaven. That's facts. That's like That was, yo, this nigga had a pot roast with cat. Yo, that shit was crazy. Great. But that was the thing. He, like, he could create moments, yo. And his small little, like, with, I guess, niche within YouTube, he could create moments that everyone would talk about. Like, yo, you saw this nigga eating with all his cats? They had a pot roast feast with all his cats. He loved his cats. Eating it with a like sharing it and all that. It was, it was crazy. His last live, I actually got a song. That's what's up. He would make songs for people too. He'll come up with a, cu- a custom song mm-hmm. and start singing them. This dude was crazy, bro. He was a character. 100%. So rest in peace to him. I hope people that's perpetrating acting all fake, that they was best friends with this guy. I hope they stop that. I hope they truly stop that because it's nasty. I ain't gonna go back and forth with nobody, but and if it was you I'm going back and forth for a day. But uh <laughs> it was real, it was cool. It was cool. I, I'm just gonna speak up on it just because I thought it was foul and I don't care what people think about my opinion on it. Rest in peace to real, bro. Rest in peace. And I hope everyone can just make amends and not really like, please don't try to bash that man. Right after uh, passing, that would be disgusting. Cracking friendly jokes, whatever that you know he would have appreciated. Cool. Don't try to do. Don't try to be disgusting after the fact. That yeah, try not to. 